This video is going to walk you through steps to create a photo album presentation in Microsoft Office 2010. The skills that we are going to practice today include creating a presentation, inserting a photo album, adding pictures and captions to that album, we're going to add sound, as well as set up and then view the presentation. To get started, you will need to have PowerPoint open. I have PowerPoint 2010 open to the default presentation. Once PowerPoint is open, on the ribbon, you choose the Insert tab. And on the Insert tab on the ribbon, the fifth icon from the left is Photo Album. Simply click on the Photo Album menu and choose New Photo Album. Now the pictures I'm going to use today are the sample pictures installed with Windows 7. To find pictures for your album, you choose in the Photo Album dialog box, File, Disk. And when you click on that command, you will be taken to your picture library in a default Windows 7 environment. Now I want to use all of these pictures in my photo album presentation. To select all connected pictures, you choose the one you want first, so I'm going to click one time on the chrysanthemum picture. I will then hold down Shift on my keyboard and click on the picture of tulips. And that will select all eight of those pictures. I then click on Insert, and those eight pictures, in order as they were in the file, are put into my photo album dialog box. Now I would like for these pictures to have captions. So at the bottom of this box there is a menu that reads Fit to Slide. When I click on that menu I'm going to choose one picture. And once one picture is available there is now an available checkbox for captions below all pictures. When I check that box, there will be an automatic caption below each picture that actually utilizes the name of the file. I'm going to keep those captions as the name of the file, but if you are doing a photo album, for instance, for a vacation, you can go back through the presentation and edit those captions as needed. Now we are creating a simple photo album you can get more complex with it, changing the orientation, contrast, and brightness of each picture individually based on whichever one you have selected in the list. I'm going to leave everything else as it is and choose Create. When you create a photo album, you get the first slide and it says Photo Album by Student. Now it's saying student because the computer in which I'm working, my username is student. I'm going to change this from student to my name, which is Christy. You can also change the photo album title as well. I'm going to click on slide two for you to see that the chrysanthemum caption for the chrysanthemum picture is a text box and can also be manually edited. Now from here I'm going to add a sound clip again from the Windows 7 media files that come with the Windows 7 operating system. Now I want this sound to play over the whole photo album as it shows. So I go to insert and on the insert menu near the right second command from the right on my ribbon, I'm going to choose the audio drop down menu and audio from file. My computer has taken me directly to my music library where there are three music clips that are pre-installed with my Windows 7. Now to choose different pictures and different sound, you would simply navigate in these dialog boxes, these file explorer boxes, 
to the files where you have these items saved. I'm going to choose the sleep away mp3 and choose insert. Now an icon will appear and with this icon there's also what is called a contextual tab called audio tools at the top. For this I don't want the icon to show so I choose the playback tab. And on the playback tab I'm going to in the middle check the loop until stopped box, the hide during show box, and the menu that currently reads on click I'm going to change to play across all slides. The next thing I want to do is make it so this plays on its own. This is very helpful if you are, for instance, having a birthday party and you want a slideshow of the person who's being honored, that person's picture is playing in the background and you don't want to have to restart it, you want it to run automatically. So I'm now going to go to my Transitions tab and I'm simply going to choose the Fade Transition. The Fade Transition is set to play on mouse click. I want it to play automatically. So on the right hand side of the Transitions ribbon, I uncheck on mouse click and check after. I want this to transition every two seconds, so I change the after to two seconds. Now this is only applied to the current slide, my slide one. So I choose apply to all and I can see that it's been applied because there are stars underneath each number. I'm now going to go to my slideshow tab. And now that I'm on my slideshow tab, the fifth command from the left is set up slideshow. When I click on set up slideshow, I get an extensive box here. I want this to play on its own without anybody being able to click on anything. So I'm choosing browse at a kiosk, which will loop it continuously automatically. I'm going to keep my timings and from here, OK. Now set up in kiosk mode, when I play the presentation, I must hit escape to exit out of it. So from here, I'm now going to choose from beginning. The sound is playing continuously over the photo album presentation and the transition is transitioning from slide to slide every two seconds. Now this will continue until I hit escape. As you will see in a minute, you'll see the photo album title page and it will begin again automatically. This is what the browsed at a kiosk option does for me. Now that I've viewed it, this could be a hundred pictures long if I wanted it to be. Now that I've viewed it, I'm going to hit escape to exit out. And that is how you can create a photo album in PowerPoint and have it play automatically. So to review, to review, we created a presentation, inserted a photo album, added pictures and captions. We also added sound to this photo album presentation and we set up and view the presentation. I hope this presentation is helpful to you and will help you create photo album presentations in the future.